we have to bring up the story Albie brought up well, no, hold about on, but, but, Mark, but, 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 Mark and the Funky Bunch. I, that's well, part of the reason they think this. <laughs> I need to hear about this mansion in New Jersey. So, so, so fucking, yeah, because Nori, yeah, cut, Nori, Nori cut you off. And like you're like, like I want to hear that story. So Albie told us the story, right? So, But he said I, we have to talk. He walked talk. me into he, it because I kind of blacked out at the end of Nori's. My, my mouth got it, it was, too numb it to was, talk. Well, something about... You guys kept beating up the Funky Bunch. <laughs> yeah, you, you kept fucking up Marky no, Marks. No, 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 no. Or chasing no. them right, here's down. What chasing them down. Here's what happened. All right. We won the first Boston Music Award. Okay. I'm proud of it. Our mothers came. My mother, Jeff's mother came. We got an award and everything. I, that picture might be in the in the archives. All right. So, the best rap group. That was big for us, man. Yeah. Little thing right there. So, the next couple of years, Marky Mark won it. Now, we knew Now we knew about New Edition, you know what I'm saying, and New Kids on the Block. And it wasn't no problem or nothing, you know what I'm saying? But this is around the gang time. People were like in Boston and everybody is picking their colors. The Bruins happened not just to be our colors for the rap group, that we was a gang at that time. We was a... I was uh, wondering about you know, that. So, so, so guys would get buried in it. We took it serious. As crazy it may sound now because I'm my older self and it does sound real stupid, but that's what it was, mm -hmm. all right? We, we took real pride into fucking Boston Bruins gear. And... um. You know, like Marky, when he came with "There's a Good Vibe," he got the cover of Calvin Klein. He was like, "Oh <laughs> shit, he's blowing up!" But the song blew up, and he won the Boston Music Award. Mm -hmm. Now, in retrospect, now I'm thinking about it, he probably should have won. Back then, fuck Marky Mark, fuck everybody. <laughs> I don't care how the fuck is he gonna win? Like everybody's mad. We're mad. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it wasn't that he was white, you know what I'm saying? The fact it was the fact that it was like, yo, how the fuck can he just come in on the scene? We've been blood, sweat, and tears in it. And this we should win it again. We done put out we we had got signed too. We did get signed, I think, to Flavor Unit that year. And fucking Marky like won it. And it was like, but that song was so big. Yeah. I mean, let's yeah. call that it. That was like it was. a pop song. That was a pop, pop yeah. hip hop. You said hip -hop it. Song, yeah. Okay, so now let me ask you: Should that have been best rap group if it was a pop? Well, song? Well, it was rap too. I I still think it was a rap pop oh, right. song. So does that yeah. count as best rap? I would think so because he was still rap. Then rap. Would, now, now, okay, that's, now no, that's the white. Yes. See, now I'm asked the hip hop. Like, I think Drake then, is rap. Then, that goes then into the yes, Drake conversation because there wasn't like a spectrum yet, and I disagree with. It being in there because I'm a purist, but I think it has to be. Now there's a whole hip hop hip hop genre. Now it's that's different. fucking like right. That's there. That, that's right. like a whole that's thing. That's what Drake there, does. Right. It is that, but like there wasn't that at the time. It's like can't touch this. Is that a really hip hop? It right. is a hip hop song. Right. You know. What well, I mean? like, well, 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 well. Can't touch this sampled from Rick James. Yeah, Rick James. But I mean, but it, but it's still Rick James was really kind of make a white song. You know that I mean? that like, song was a white song. <laughs> that beat was a white beat. You're right. You're right. You know you're right. I mean? So like it kind of right. like you're right. It, it, I get what you're saying, but that right. song was so big it probably did eclipse what you were doing, yeah. and like it'd be begrudgingly have to be like. I'm gonna mm, admit right now right, on yeah. the Big Dookie Chain show that Good Vibrations should have won. He should have <laughs> won the Boston Music Award. All right, but we was young and we was mad. Now speed it up you know what I'm saying he's getting ready to go on Arsenio Hall and he said he's gonna wear the Boston Bruins shit huh uh, yeah, you don't like that. what so I get a call from Donnie he said listen Donnie you gotta tell him wear anything Celtics Red Sox wear anything right. and, it, and if he, he was black it would've been the same thing right? of course yeah. um, great point Yeah, great point man that was a good only point. kind of point I that had that was a good point that, that, I never thought of that that was a good point I'm glad you said that that was a good point. I want to just take the time well, right just, now I was because just I'm glad you said that. It didn't. If it was it, black, it would have been the same thing. So, so, he said he's going to do it anyways. I said, all right. So <laughs> That's we, risky. We, we heard he was practicing at Mike Messina's by Fenway Park. That's where all the rock bands were practicing. Yeah, that's what Albie was saying. Mike Messina's, <laughs> they was there practicing. And at the downstairs, we there was the Funky Bunch and a couple of the band members because they had a, you know, it was big. We're pissed off, Dan. We ain't going on our city hall with the fuss. <laughs> We're heated. Yeah. And he's going to wear Bruins shit. This was this was one thing that everybody was like, yeah, let's all, yeah. Everybody was in agreement. <laughs> Everyone you, you, sometimes, for this sometimes, you didn't, sometimes everybody didn't agree on shit. Yeah. This they one agreed. everybody agreed. <laughs> so we went down there. And sure enough, man, he wasn't out there. Man, we caught a couple of them, man. We, man, we, man we, we did a number on them. You know, one couple of them had to go to the hospital, but we went upstairs. They got Marky out of a trap door. Mike Messina had some type of trap door on the floor that got him up out of there. 
This is. It sounds Something like some stuff it's that like, could be It was be like, real. get Marky out of here, get Marky out of here. And they got him shit. up out of there. John, John Messina talking like this. He had like, like he was a rocker. Because, you know, it was, it was rock bands. And they got him up out of there. So now that's done. So Dick Scott, his manager, called me in and was like, I met with him. And he was like, look, man, good dude, man. You know, older guy, black guy. Just a real fly dude, man. I really respected him. And then he was like, listen, man, I'm going to give you some money, man. I want you guys to come to my house in Inglewood, New Jersey. We all went to, we was like 12, 13 deep. And we went to Inglewood. He had a mansion. He let us all stay there for the night because the tour bus he got, he got us our own tour bus. This is like, we're RSO. This is fucking early in the game. Yeah, yeah. So we got a tour bus. He gave us like $15,000. He let everybody stay in it in the bedrooms. Each bedroom had its own little jacuzzi tub in it. 